independent study has cleared Mitsubishi Motors Philippines from the so-called sudden unintended acceleration phenomenon allegedly involving some of its Montero models in the Philippines. Our colleague Kathy Yang is in Nagoya, Japan. She caught up with the big bosses of Mitsubishi Motors there. Kathy now joins us on the line to tell us more about this. So Kathy, that study itself, um, yeah, how, I believe that uh, you know a lot of Mitsubishi dealers here in the Philippines already have these like big posters up on their walls talking about exactly how they've been cleared of this sudden unintended acceleration. Indeed, and I'm right in the heart of Detroit, uh, the Detroit of uh, Japan. This is called Nagoya, where I'm at, and I just uh, came from a, a full-day factory visit at the Mitsubishi Motors plant in Okazaki. It's uh, about 500 kilometers away from Tokyo. It's been uh, quite a ride, but uh, I did get an update on the uh, sudden uh, unintended um, acceleration uh, issue and uh, the boss of Mitsubishi Motors Corporation Philippines did say that they have received the results of the investi of the independent investigation that they sought from a UK company called Oriba Mira, and that investigation showed results that said the sudden unintended acceleration was a farce that it didn't happen, and that this will be a report that they will submit to the Department of Trade and Industry in a couple of weeks. So that is the latest on that issue. Although the uh, the president himself, uh, Yoshiaki Kato, did tell me that they've been receiving a lot of um, complaints and that they've been addressing it by uh, taking in their, their Montero Sport vehicles and checking on them and making sure that they feel safe in the cars that they drive. But still, it's an issue. When you talk about sales, they're, they're selling about 1,000 vehicles every month, but that doesn't add up to what they used to sell, 1,500 a month, during the time that they had five straight years of, of uh, a top-selling uh, vehicle of the uh, mid-range segment from 2009. They never got that back. Yeah. Well, um uh, the uh, sales of the uh, Montero vehicles actually, uh, I guess, uh, weren't really um, impacted too much uh, about this supposed sudden unintended acceleration. But what could uh, have an impact on the sales of Mitsubishi vehicles would be the government's plan to impose uh, excise taxes on the sales of new vehicles. Uh, did the uh, Mitsubishi bosses have anything to say about that? Yes, a lot indeed, uh, Tony, because, you know, we're coming all the way from the CARS program that they had uh, fully invested in, some 4.3 billion pesos, and now they hear of a proposed excise tax in new vehicle sales. And uh, the, the chairman himself, the chairman, president, and CEO, Osami, Osamu Masuko, whom I've had a one-on-one -on -one interview with, uh, did say that it is detrimental to their sales volumes in the Philippines and that they would uh, like the government, the Duterte administration, to have a rethink about how they want uh, to, to actually develop the uh, car industry and think around incentives rather than taxing an industry, a fledgling industry that is now trying to grow volumes and be at par with the ASEAN rivals uh, like Thailand as well as Indonesia where volumes are really up. Uh, just uh, comparatively, the Philippines doesn't really add up to what they produce there. But the good news is um, Mitsubishi Motors is going to start producing its uh, subcompact Mirage G4 starting January of next year. And that's going to mean more jobs for Filipinos. Uh, working in Santa Rosa, uh, Laguna, there will be 1,400 Filipino workers in that plant because of that initiative under the CARS program. And apart from that, uh, by 2018, we will have a uh, stamping plant that will require 1,500 workers, Filipino workers. So on the uh, jobs front, it's a positive for Mitsubishi Motors, but they're hoping that they don't lose the momentum they now have with the CARS program. Cody? Yeah, but you can imagine uh, they expect to actually uh, produce more cars that uh, in their Santa Rosa plant, that they can employ more Filipino workers. But what if the excise tax actually inhibits consumers or motorists from buying vehicles and how that would impact on the sales of the new Mirage G4 is something that remains to be seen. 
That's very true. And you know, they're coming all the way from that fuel economy scandal, the bigger scale, really, mm -hmm. and what has really impacted their um, earnings. Uh, they, they sustained the first loss in their earnings for the first time since June 2010 because of the fuel economy scandal. Uh, Osamu Masuko did tell me that uh, the reason why they allied recently, three weeks ago, with Nissan Renault is that they want to get the consumer trust back and they want to do it with Carlos Ghosn. Yeah. And he himself uh, rejuvenated Nissan and Renault being the boss of both companies. So there's a lot of change going on at Mitsubishi Motors. And number one atop that list, bring back consumer trust and get those sales going again and revive the company. And the Philippines is part of that ASEAN strategy of being the core manufacturing hub for stop of compact cars. Tony? Have they given you any uh, test rides in any of their experimental vehicles? <laughs> I did. Um, I did get a chance to meet, and I'm so privileged to be in the passenger seat of uh, a Dakar race car award-winning driver. Uh, I don't know if you know him. Uh, his name is Hiroshi uh, Maswoka, and uh, a very uh, adept at driving. I felt safe in the car because I knew what he was doing, but it was an off-road test. Mm -hmm. You can just imagine 30 degree angles at any point in the ride, you know, you don't know what's going on. But there was one patch that was pretty muddy and uh, he, did, he did admit, I'm stuck. And I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I know you know all this. And I could learn a few more things if I get uh, stuck in mud, uh, if there's uh, maybe another vanilla, God forbid. Yeah. Uh, what he did was he actually uh, backed up and then accelerated full on and just swerved out of it. But yeah. before he did that, all the mud patches went through our windshield. Thank mm. you, Chad. Come back to him like I rolled in the mud. <laughs> that was really fun. It was an honor to meet him. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he's he's a, a perfect uh, example of how you stay confident on the road and mm. also drive safely. Yeah, yeah. Well, come back soon, Kathy, because uh, we've got a lot more mudslinging happening here in the Philippines than you have there in Japan. Um, I would drive back home because I'm yeah. not going to be able to do it in oh, Japan yeah. and the Philippines. Well, mud, slinging, the mud slinging in Japan <laughs> sounds much more fun uh, the way they actually do it there, uh, driving off-road in a Mitsubishi SUV. Thank you very much, Kathy Yang.